guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to add my new pet signing script into your simulator game this script was very very um was highly requested throughout all the discord servers i'm in um people wanted it so much there was a person who was selling it um for robux and i know that that is not um you know available for everybody and no one everybody can purchase so i decided to make my own and it is um completely free so if anybody is selling it please let me know in my discord with that we're going to get straight into the video first what you want to do is go to a base plate after opening up your base plate you're going to go to plugins generate your simulator i use clicker you can use whatever this script uh, i don't think messes with anything and then you can just click generate from here we're going to go to home game settings save your game to roblox a small little error i don't know why it said it couldn't save but uh yeah we're good now so from here you're going to want to now head over into your file explorer or whatever you use and you're going to open up downloads and you're going to drag in the pet signing just like so we're going to do the basic steps so we are on the road to 800 subscribers so if you are not subscribed please subscribe now um, and then we're going to just go over some things. Remember, this did take me hours and a couple days to create and figure out how to mess with all this stuff to make it where it links perfectly and doesn't break your game. Um, so it is in beta and it's not fully released. If there is um, people who have better touches for it, I will um, update this in the future. So step one, we are just going to ungroup all the folders. So inside of our starter gui game gui and we're gonna go to frames we're gonna get rid of pets and we're gonna get rid of trading the reason for this is that we have two new frames they are the exact same they just have the tweaks so you don't have to manually go in and reposition them we're gonna go to remotes and we're going to drag this into the remotes folder here and then we're going to go into this file which is rep storage assets and pet template so right here assets and then pet template and we're going to drag all this in there as well so with that we are now going to go up here and we're going to delete these folders open up this readme file again and we're going to go to data store savings so inside of the server script service data store data store and saving you're going to copy these two lines we're going to go right here, press enter and paste it. Then we are going to go to the, um, we're going to the client. So we're going to copy this, head over to client inside of starter player, starter player scripts, client. Then down here, we are going to just type update side frame. Now you'll see two right here. You're not gonna mess with those two. You're gonna mess with this whole function right here. So you can just hover over this function and press control V and print it there. Hop back over into our readme file. You can scroll down a little bit more. And we're gonna copy this line of code and we are going to search up for hover UI. So we type in hover UI under this line right here. We are going to press enter and we're gonna paste that as well. Then go back to the readme. We are now going to the remote handler. So that's going to be in server script service remote handler. And then we are going to grab this and under remote handler, right above the rebirth function, you're going to press enter and then you're going to press enter one more time, go up one and then just put that in there. Then we're going to quickly look at their last couple of steps. We're gonna take these values and we're gonna to go to data store loading and we are gonna scroll down to you see the um, right here right next uh, right under the pet name press enter and then paste it and then from there we are going to 
and that's yeah but never mind we're all good because we already replaced all of the frames with the new ones so that is all the um setup for it if you're not already subscribed to me on youtube please subscribe to me i'm trying to hit a thousand before the end of summer so around august 10th we're trying to hit it but from now we are going to go into scheme settings security enable studio access to api services and click save then we're going to go to file publish to roblox and then i like to test with two servers so i just click on start two new servers and the reason why we do two servers is that you can't test the trading feature of it um without having the um without having two players so you could just get your friend to test it out with you but it is easier to test in studio of course so we just turn off that and then from here we're going to go into our other so this is player two so we're going to go into our server it should be right here and then our server we're going to go to players player one or player two whichever one you want player data currency and i set mine to something ridiculous and then right here in player one we can go over in here and purchase a basic egg after you purchase the basic egg you can open up your pets inventory you'll see that nothing really changed except for when you click on to the pet and it'll say signed by nobody you can click this pencil and then click on the pet again and it'll say signed by player one and if you want to go trade your friend the pet could have accepted it and then you can actually hover over this and you can see that it says signed by player one and your friend can trade you the pet you can accept the pet once the trade goes through You can actually open up the, your um, pets inventory and you can click on this and you can see that it's signed by player one. And if you try to sign it, you can't sign it. With that being said, thank you all for watching this video. If there's any more scripts or any suggestions you'll have to be made, please leave it in the comments or on my Discord server. It is better if you put it in the Discord server because I do check my Discord server daily i check it every time there's a new message i'm always there one to respond thank you all for watching this video have a good rest of your day and peace